It's update time for the B-Link W95 Android TV box. You will need a few things to actually do this. You'll need a male-to-male -male USB cable. Make sure that's capable of data transfer. As well as that, you'll need to install Amodric USB burner tool. I'm going to be using version 2.0.8. As well as that, you'll need the W95 brand new image file. Again, those links will be all in the description. Now, this update brings us that status bar that we've been missing on a lot of new guard tv boxes lately as well as a few different improvements anyway my name is matthew and you're watching another tutorial by the mxq project first thing we need to do is we need to install and watch usb burn until i'm using version 2.0.8 install that and then launch it select the right language so I'm using English and then what we need to do is that W95 Android image file we downloaded before we need to import it so select file import image and then the system will start checking the image to make sure it's all okay now the next thing we need to do is just simply select start now this is the point where we grab our W95 and then we connect it to our PC or laptop now the OTG port is really important to note on this because we're going to be using this one just here this one just just right here so if you turn your w95 upside down and you'll be able to see it just next to the actual sd card tray just this one don't use that one because it won't work this is the one we need so what we need to do is to complete this process we need a mail to mail usb cable something that looks a little bit like that now we need to connect one end into our pc as shown and the other end into this W95. Before we do that, is we need to hold in this little reset button. So on the back of your W95, you'll see a little hole. So you need to hold that in and then insert, just as shown. To show you again, hold in the reset button, make sure the other end of this mail to mail USB cable is inserted into your PC or laptop, and then insert this into the OTG port as shown keeping that reset button held in and on screen it should start installing drivers and then eventually it should say successfully install world cup device and then possibly you might have to repeat this process because sometimes it gets confused and it doesn't complete it so you have to pull this out and then holding that reset button and away you go again and it should just instantly start burning that image file onto your w95 now eventually it will complete and it will get to 100% just select stop and then away you go. Now you don't need to hold in your reset button for the whole entire process. The moment it connects, you can you can let go. Just know that. So once that's done, just like stop, disconnect your W95, and then away to the TV you can go to initiate the first launch of your newly installed Android version on your W95. So as with all Android devices, the first time you install new Android firmware, it always takes a while to actually boot up. It's going to take a good five minutes. The next time you actually boot it up, it will be a lot faster. But just be patient, just leave it alone, and it will eventually launch into the launcher. Anyway, let's go and have a look at this firmware. So this is the brand new firmware for the W95, and here is your status bar, guys. And yeah, it's working absolutely fine. Everything's nice and smooth, and we've been missing that status bar from a lot of NuGuard TV boxes. Now... One big difference as well to this firmware, B-Link have finally decided to implement OTA updates and yeah, here we are. We've got this massive update file coming right through now and it's great to see. I'm not entirely sure whether it was unique to me or not, but my previous firmware was not receiving any OTA updates and it's kind of something that I've got used to receiving from B-Link, even on their really cheap devices like the B-Link X2, even received OTA updates back in the day. So I was a bit disappointed to see the W95 not receiving them, but now installing this brand new firmware we've got those OTA updates so B-Link hopefully will keep everything up to date on this device and keep improving the firmware and certainly this update here has certainly improved that everything's nice and smooth running really nicely now it's not going to be perfect and no TV box will ever be perfect but it's a massive improvement anyway so I'm really glad to see that so hopefully this tutorial has helped you improve your W95 they are cheap boxes at the end of the day and to receive any sort of system update is uh you know it's great to see so hopefully this has helped you thanks for watching guys my name is matthew you've been watching another tutorial by the mxq project obviously guys don't forget to subscribe 
click that bell button to receive notifications when we upload a new video and don't forget to check out the website mxqproject.com twitter at mxqproject and the facebook group as well again links will be in the description thanks for watching guys and we shall see you very very soon